Namaste friend. In the previous video, we discussed few things about the simple present tense and uh, how the be verb works there with different types of the pronouns. And here I'm going to tell you few things that you have to keep in mind. All right. The first one I want to say this may, you know, may. This may always uh, is in the place of I, but sometime, you know, this may in the place of uh, this may we use hum also to represent a singular thing you know we use hum this particular uh, this particular hum you know we like this we use here for representing ek bachan for representing singular things uh, uh, the person who are in power or uh, the writers uh, when they write uh, you know they they use generally uh, may as a hum right suppose uh, a king is saying, uh, I'm very powerful. Then that time the king will say, Hum bahut sakti sali hai. I am very powerful. Hum bahut sakti sali hai. Instead of saying, Main bahut sakti sali hoon. He is not saying, Main bahut sakti sali hoon. If, if he is saying, Main bahut sakti sali hoon, then uh, it, it seems a very normal thing. You know, a very normal. He is not, uh, he is not showing himself as a very much powerful. He need to say, uh, Nicely, you know, hum bahut sakti sali hai. Like he is addressing the citizens and he is saying, hum bahut sakti sali hai. Means still, I am very powerful. And you know, when you are using in the place of I, hum, that becomes more polite, more good, more nice, you know. Uh, the sweetness it gives in the sentence. If I am saying, hum aapko hindi mein madad karna chaate hai, that is more sweeter, that is more better, you know. So, you can use hum also uh, for giving a, a very good uh, sweetness in your language, all right. Uh, it's a kind of greatness uh, you you are speaking in the uh, in the in the language when you use hum instead of i all right i uh, generally uh, seems a little selfish also sometime all right uh, so you can use everywhere hum uh, if you use hum that's that's also good all right for example i'm alone here now and i'm telling you main school jata hu it means you understand that i go to school but the same thing i can say hum school jate hain i'm telling to you Hum school jate hain. This is also very nice, you know. The same thing it is. Main bahut khana khata hoon. It means I eat too much, you know. But the same thing I can say. Hum bahut khana khate hain. Hum bahut khana khate hain. Means I eat a lot. Alright. And simply if a lot of people are saying. Hum bahut khana khate It means if many people are there. And if they are speaking. Hum bahut khana khate It means this is representing plural. But a single guy like me. It's saying hum bahut khana khate hain. It means I alone eat too much. Right? I'm talking about only me. And that time I'm representing singular thing. And still I'm using hum. Alright? So here I just want to say that hum is also used as a singular. Okay? And this generally, you know, uh, writers used to use in the poem or in some story or any type of the literature, literature things, you know. So uh, we can see in the books. Uh, when you read Hindi books, you may see many, many where uh, they use as a hum. So you just have to remember, if many people are saying hum, then that time it represents plural. If, if a single man, single uh, human is saying hum, it means it is representing singular, but he is trying or she is trying to speak very nicely, all right? Uh, with sweetness, with, with giving greatness to you, with, with, uh, with nicely, just to understand like that. And the next one is this you are, you know, this you or we say up. This up word here I used in the bahubachan in plural section, but this can be used in the singular section also. This can be used in singular section like uh, you are. You are single there. So, aap mujhe sun rahe hain. Here I am saying to you. Aap mujhe sun rahe hain. You are listening to me. So, here I am not telling you all guys, a lot of people are there and I am saying you guys are listening to me. So, that time I will say aap log mujhe sun rahe hain. Sun rahe hain. Right? Or simply I can say, Aap mujhe sun rahe hain. There also I can say, Aap hume sun rahe hain. Right? Aap hume sun rahe But here I am telling you only. Single you are there and I am telling you, Aap hume sun rahe hain. Sun rahe hain. Hain. It gives no plural, but we can use in singular while saying Aap with respect. If I am saying, uh, after you I am using hain, then it means I am giving respect also. Like, uh, Aap mere dost hain. Aap mere dost hain. Here I'm telling to you single man that you are my friend. And I use here hain like this. 
n sound i'm giving instead of saying hai all right i i used aap mere dost hain so here i'm giving respect for a singular whenever i'm using hai all right using aap then you need to understand that i'm giving a little respect to that person all right so aap mere dost hain here i can also say aap hamare dost hain hamare means mine and if a lot of people are here and they are saying aap hamare dost hain means the whole people are saying that you are our friend but here i'm single and i'm telling you aap hamare dost hain you are my friend right uh, similarly uh, here you know ye and we these can be uh, used as a singular also ye and we right look at here uh, these are books if you want to say these are books ye kitabe hain but if you want to say ye kitab hai so that time also you can use this ye you know uh, ye ye kitab hai simply want to say this is book so you'll write ye kitab hai or ye kitab hai all right but in the plural you know uh, it becomes ye kitabe hain so here uh, kitabe you know kitab becomes kitabe kitabe because it's plural you know kitab becomes plural now it's kitabe and since it is plural so you know in every plural you know the ending point is always hain 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 all right hum hain aap hain ye hain we hain we hain you know everywhere so even for the way if you want to see uh we cricketer hain they are cricketer all right if a single man is a little far and i'm saying we cricketer hai we cricketer hai so he is a cricketer all right or she is a cricketer i just want to say ye and we can be used as a singular also so keep in mind hum can be used for the singular for saying i you can be used as a singular also and ye and we can be used in the place of a singular also and how i just spoke right see you in the next video goodbye and i'm sure you're going to subscribe the channel and hit the like button bye bye